Five Nights at Freddy's. Let's go to it. It's like Fortnite. I don't know what it is, but I know kids like it. Hold up. Hey. Love you too. This is Nate from Thrift Dweller. Welcome back to another episode of Monday Nitro Pickups. Uh, if you've seen the last episode I shot before this one, I kind of discussed a little bit about where I've been for the past month, I guess. I haven't made a lot of videos in that month. Uh, mainly because there was a big inpouring of water in this basement and it took a good month to actually clean that that stuff out okay so i've been like busy replacing furniture checking the walls and all that stuff good news is nothing in the game room here got damaged but uh i just wanted to do part two of that video if you haven't seen it before uh, links will be in the description below and you would have seen in that video i had like a whole table full of pickups and i did like a pile of video games from my buddy rap which i got for really cheap but there was way more stuff in that video, so I want to shoot part two of the post-flood fallout pickup videos. Uh, a lot of this was from like August, I haven't shot yet, and I went out of town quite a bit. And out of town thrift stores are like the best in terms of getting stuff, so I think this whole box is from the month of August. I'll try to keep the segment maple syrup pickup of the video, which is the best pickup of the entire video. I'll try to keep that as I go, but uh, again, in no particular order. So, a buck at a Goodwill. I don't know, it looked like a game I could actually play, Mastermind. I think I really just like the, the cover of this thing here. Look at that guy. Baus. The Baus. I swear there are video games in here, but I guess I picked up board games from that day. But on a crisis, I don't know why. The Six Million Dollar Man, which today is kind of like nothing, I guess. Oh, I found this in the car during the long drive. I was like, what the heck? Pokemon. There's a Pokemon card in it. Who is this Pokemon? Primal Gorodon. Sorry if I'm quiet, by the way. Again, it is nighttime in this house and my daughter's sleeping upstairs. A Squirtle. Yeah, a Squirtle. A Squirtle. A squirt, Squirt. There's a Pokemon card in here as well. Okay, for people who don't know, I love collecting DVDs, especially DVDs that I think that are out of print. And I just remember watching this as a kid, the first 22 episodes, which I think is the entire series of Swamp Thing that came out in... When did this come out? Swamp Thing. I don't know. I don't... I'm guessing this is like in the 90s, and I just have memories about watching it as a kid, so I kind of want to refresh that and see what that's all about. But yeah, Swamp Thing, the complete, I guess the entire series only lasted one season. A DVD I'm really excited to watch. The Octagon with Chuck Norris. Look at that. Badass, right there. I haven't seen this before, but like this would be a wicked poster. If this is a good movie, I would put this poster. Look, there's like a ninja right there. Look at this guy. The sigh on him. Is that focused? A uh, DVD at the thrift store. This was a, uh, I think these are $1.99 at this thrift store. Octagon, let me know if you watched that in the comments below. A Jean-Claude Van Damme movie I didn't know existed. And if you've been following the channel, you know my cousins and I love Jean-Claude Van Damme. We have this thing where we want to collect all of his movies until death. Look at that. Looks interesting. Dedicated to my cousin Neil for two bucks. Oh yeah, my wife uh, picked this up for me. Pokemon books? I, I'm, I, okay, honestly, I'm buying these because I do have plans of being a vendor at another video, a comic book convention, I guess. And I thought these would make a really good... Re they're like a quarter a piece, right? So if I sell it for a buck tech kid, the flip game is on. Kids books at the, the Salvation Army where my wife, like my wife buys a lot of kids books for our kids. And every time she sees stuff like this, she picks it up for me. So again, a quarter a piece for kids books. Good deal, let me know in the comments below. And a, oh, something that completes my Star Trek collection. I have on DVD the complete, like, original Star Trek uh, season 1, 2, and 3. But I was missing this for the longest time. The animated series of Star Trek. If you haven't seen this, it's not that bad, I guess. Very indicative of the 1970s. Is it 1970s? Has to be 1970s uh, animation style at the time. And I, they got the legitimate voice actors from the show to voice in this show. I, at least William Shatner, I believe, for sure. And I'm, I'm sure it's Len Nemo as well. <laughs> 25 cents. 
Uh, yeah, McDonald's uh, Mario toys. There you go. McDonald's Mario toys. I don't know what I'm going to do. Out of town thrift store. These are a quarter a piece. You can see right there. Hopefully that's focused right there. A quarter a piece for the connectors for your Xbox controllers. And I always get these because my I always like missing these parts. Like, why did they make it like this? Why the hell do I have two copies of Mastermind? Oh yeah, this is okay. This is fifty cents for this one, and I'll do a box comparison for people who don't care because I'm sure nobody cares. Okay, look at that. There you go. Again, look at this guy on the cover. Boss. 50 cents. Complete volume of the Ninja Turtles Season 4. There you go. Couldn't leave that behind for two bucks. Right? Even though I have the complete set already on DVD. Half price day at the out of town thrift store. So 75 cents for Labyrinth. And I guess I didn't realize that it is in German? Heavy Mennonite population where this uh, thrift store is. So, if you played this game, please let me know in the comments below. Labyrinth. I don't know. Okay, there's some video games. I'll save the video games for the end. Oh my god, an outstanding value. Uh, out of town thrift store. Even had the original sticker on there. I got this from uh, a place called Niverville. Just so, if you're from Manitoba, I just let the secret out. But I still had the the, the price tag on this. So when I brought it, I remember bringing it to the counter. I come like, oh, how much is this? <laughs> you know, my favorite season was Saved by the Bell, season 3 and 4. Favorite seasons. I think season 4 is my favorite. That's where they worked on the beach and stuff. Yeah, there you go. Slater. That's my that's my boy right there. AC Slater, but undefeated. Bayside, undefeated. Flight of the Concords. A dollar for the complete first season. Flight of the... I enjoyed this. I used to watch this with my cousin Neil. Did they show this on Showcase? I'm trying to save all the video game stuff for the end. I think, you know, reading has now become like a pastime. Something I actually enjoy doing. It's not like a chore in school. And sometimes I want to dumb down my reading a bit. So, you know, I picked up these little pocket comics. They're like a quarter piece out of town. This one was in uh, Gimli, if you're from Manitoba. There you go. Look at that. So for a quarter a piece, I think these are pretty good. You know, they're, it doesn't take a lot of mental energy. You're not... I find when I read really complicated books, like really long books, I'm like, who's this character again? What does that guy do? At least with this, you can just, you can get through it, and it's a simple, enjoyable experience. Like watching your old favorite shows from when you were a kid, like Are You Afraid of the Dark or whatever. Not a lot of thinking involved in that. All right. Ooh, speaking of reading, The Patchwork Girl of Oz. I never really, uh appreciated the wizard of it's even though it's one of my favorite movies of all time angry video game nerd did like a video series about the books and really opened my eyes to this the incredible world of oz none of this stuff got damaged in the in the flooding of the basement so thank thank that guy up top the big man carl oh yeah strat guides man this salvation army amazing deals oh actually here's another one this red tag, it's in the kids' book, so it was like 25 cents. Graphic novels. I enjoy graphic novels. This one, I have no clue what it is. It's a Vertigo comic, so... If you've read this, please let me know in the comments below. Dollar. Uh, Dark Siders. It's like an art book, and there's like a little comic at the beginning. But, uh, yeah. I gu I'm guessing this came with like the special edition of Dark Siders. Let me know in the comments below. Beautiful art on this stuff, though. Amazing. Love art books. Two dollars. From Salvation Army, Injustice, the strat guide for that game. Uh, it's a beautiful game. I'm not a big fan of like Immortal Kombat type fighting system, but still, beautiful game nonetheless. And Mortal Kombat Gold for two bucks, strategy guide. Look at that. That's cool. I love older strategy guides. Another graphic novel for 25 cents, Saga. Everyone's, you know, praising the Saga series. So I'm going to start with uh, Volume 3. <laughs> The actual comics are worth quite a bit for that series now. Alright, what else is in here? Dollar fifty? Out of time thrift store? Quinto? Well, I don't know. I swear the next pickup video will be way better than this. Blockus! This is actually a really fun game I played uh, at a party once. It's like Tetris on a board versus a friend and you gotta Blockus him. 
<laughs> it's so funny. Every time, like, we did a successful blockus, which is where you stump your opponent in this game, we'd always just go to each other. You got blockist. 30% off. Five Nights at Freddy. I don't know why I bought this. I think I bought this with the intent to resell it. I see Five Nights at Freddy everywhere. Five Nights at Freddy's. It's like Fortnite. I don't know what it is, but I know kids like it. Hold up. I think. Totally. <laughs> I bought this because there was Yu-Gi-Oh cards in it. And I resell that at my local comic book store. Two bucks. There's a couple legendary cards in there. So I'm like, I might be able to. I've been really lucky flipping uh, Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon cards at the thrift store. I gotta fund this video game collection somehow.